Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Lilliput 7 inch USB monitor. I've kind of been thinking about this purchase for a couple of months now, and the reason is is because I need some sort of teleprompter, sort of close up, close to the lens, so I don't have to look all the way over the monitor, all the way over here, to sort of see my notes and sort of have some sort of outline of what I'm talking about. And let me let me show you what I'm talking about. So when I'm talking to you folks in YouTube land, you're, you're this camera right here with this uh, little display that I can see myself on a tripod and my notes are on the screen way way back here so I have a Lilliput monitor right here pretty neat it is USB only it, um, it's a 7 inch monitor has a resolution of only 800 by 480 but that's all I need it has a little kickstand that you could sort of um, just, uh, how do I describe this? Just <laughs> sort of on a ball joint that you just sort of swing out. And it also has just a little teeny USB port right there. And what I've done, sorry for the amateuristic uh, like video here with the uh, hand <laughs> camera with no tripod, but I usually work on this tripod here. But um, I have a USB cable that came with it uh, that's run all the way up here. And the cable's not too long. It sort of ends right here. That's what came with it. Let me undo this cable. And you have two cables. You have the one that you get your actual uh, picture through the display linked driver because you don't have VGA, DVI, HDMI. You get your video through USB. And they give you an extra sort of USB, which just gives you extra power. But uh, it could usually run on just the one. You only need to plug this one in to your computer. Now I have a little extension cord right here, so it gets all the way to my computer over here. Now on my tripod, I have a little mag mount made by Scoosh. And I put a metal plate on the back right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and just sort of pop it right on there so I sort of have a teleprompter so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this all in and show you what it looks like so here's my camera here's the lily put I put it in portrait mode mag mounted on with the scoosh mag mount that's for cars and uh, again I just stuck that metal plate on the back and back there is the monitor that I usually look at with my notes now you can see here's some notes really tiny right there hard for me to see I usually have to um, you know make the font bigger to be able to see it I'm still squinting and you can see it in my videos so now I'm going to um, run my mouse out here and bring it over to right here now again this is not any kind of elaborate resolution the monitor is 800 by 460 um, because it's portrait mode I guess it would be uh, I mean 480 I guess in portrait mode it would be 480 <laughs> by 800 but again it I could read this with no problem you know here's my notes Lily put 7 inch USB monitor needed for teleprompter which is what this is now um, resolution 800 by 480 aspect ratio is 16 by 9 USB powered so you don't have you only have one power cord going to this it's giving it video and it's giving it power <laughs> and uh, all go through one USB. There is no VGA, HDMI, or DVI in this particular Lilliput monitor. They do have other ones that have, you know, other features, including touchscreen. This guy only cost about $99. I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link below. You know, I, I thought this would be particularly useful for those of you who have a YouTube channel and are <laughs> trying to find a way to uh, have sort of a teleprompter with some notes right there next to the camera <laughs> so um, there you go by the way this is my my old Canon uh, Vixia HFR40 I still use it still going strong I actually posted on my gear obsession deals website the R52 
on sale in a bundle. I'm trying to see. Uh, I'm gonna bring my mouse across four screens now, but that that far screen's going away. Let's see. Here we go. For two ninety nine, you get a bundle with a tripod and a case and uh, a, a card and everything, almost like this, but two generations newer for two ninety nine. And it's uh, 1080p at, at 60 uh, frames a second. Really, really good camera for the price. So if you're looking to improve your channel, these are a lot of things that you could do to uh, make your channel as good as mine. <laughs> Which would not take very much. Alright, well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great evening. Take care. Bye.